Pinwheel in the Wind, and today we will be looking into Timberdoodle's kindergarten curriculum for the year of 2019 to 2020. This is the Elite Kit, so it has absolutely everything that they offer in their box curriculums. And I'll be taking you through an actual look inside of each of these things. I've seen so many of these videos and watched so many of these videos where they just show you the box and say, this is boom science, and then they move on. And I'm always like, well, I want to know what's actually it is. And so this video, I'll actually be looking inside of each thing um, so that you can actually see what it is and choose if this would be a good fit for your family or not. Okay, so we are going to start off with language arts. And for kindergarten, that is, of course, going to put a huge emphasis on reading. Please excuse the ring light. We are recording this at night since the kids are asleep. and <laughs> It's the only time to record a long video like this. So you will see a little bit of ring light. But once we go into the pages, you won't notice that at all. But for Timberdoodle, the um, reading portion is all about reading. It's a very popular, mastery-based, all-inclusive reading program. And what is really super nice about this curriculum is the way that it is set up is by the end of the very first lesson, your child will be reading words. And so it's every lesson they feel accomplished. And then this is their progress start. It comes with stickers that you can fill in and when they get all the way to the end, you did it. You filled your progress chart. Um, and for the very beginning lessons, what your child would need to know um, before starting this curriculum, they will need to know their letter sounds. This curriculum starts out reviewing letter sounds. So if they've never even heard their letter sounds before, this might be a little too advanced to start off with the teacher manual. So this is going to explain to you exactly what you are supposed to do. And the good thing about this teacher manual is that it tells you every single thing to do. Lesson one, this is your objective. This is what you're gonna need before you begin read this. And then, okay, let's start. And it literally will tell you everything, even to say to your kid, everything to do. And then that's the end of the lesson. And so um, it will show you absolutely everything that you need in here, including it actually has reminders to do some read alouds with your kids, which I thought was kind of funny. It comes with these three readers, which by the end of the curriculum, your child should be able to read. And so it will start as early as, bam. So that's the first story, and then by the end of the year, your child should be able to be reading um, big sentences and stories like this. Next we have the Easy Peasy Alphabet Book. This is supposed to be really great with teaching your child how to write this letters because it comes with copy work, it comes with different colored um, this white and then green and white below so they can see exactly where their lines are supposed to be. Also in spelling is spelling you see. Um, it starts off with practicing writing letters just like the other writing curriculum, but starting pretty soon into this curriculum, um, you will start dictations where you say cat and your kid will write cat, bat, and your kid will write bat. And that is basically what the whole rest of this is, is a lot of dictation and letting your kids sound it out. Um, and that is what is inside this book is dictations and telling you exactly what you're supposed to be doing that day. The last thing in language arts is what your kindergartner needs to know. Now this book does have a lot of other things like science and history and all these things like that. But why this is included in language arts is for the stories. It is full of read aloud stories for you to read with your child. And what I really like about this book is on top of having stories to read aloud to your child, it gives you ideas in the side of how to not just read it, but um, get more out of the story, things to ask your child, things right here, show, um, show some Native American pictures. 
and then it has things for you to do. Work on the word grain. Point that word out. Does your child know what that means? Um, it gives you cues all throughout the sides of the stories of how to take that read aloud a little bit deeper. Like I said, it does go into some basic history um, and arts and crafts projects here, art appreciation, and some easy science. And that's all for language. Next up, we are going to talk about critical thinking. Um, Timberdoodle, if you don't know this, they put a high emphasis on teaching kids to think. Thinking through problems so that they can learn how to think through a problem themselves. And then their philosophy is if you teach them how to think through problems, they will do very well in school. So this is the Kuman Book of Logic for kindergarten and up. Starts off with patterns, what comes next, and it will go into different things, even harder patterns. Here, um, draw a line from the arrow to the star connecting only baseballs and bats. So they have to think about where to go. They're pretty like simple things for us, but for a child, they can be quite difficult. Circle the parts of this picture that are pretend. What's pretend in this picture? And of course, the answer key for the parent. We have Smart Games Little Red Riding Hood. It comes with this little storybook, um, kind of like a comic, but it doesn't have words, so you would actually talk to your child about the story. And then it comes with the game book. So this is, will show you how to set up the problem that your child is supposed to be able to figure out. So this is the very first one. Um, this is going to be the easiest one that there is. And basically, it's how do you get Little Red Riding Hood to the house? Which one of these paths will do it? It would be this one. And she's at the house. There's, of course, the solutions on the back. It goes as hard as this one for just Little Red Riding Hood. Um, when they've mastered this skill, you can bring them over to this, which is the wolf and Little Red Riding Hood have to get to the house and the wolf has to get there first. So you need to have a shorter path for the wolf than for Little Red Riding Hood. And once again, they can get very complex. Is also another game by Smart Games that is included with this curriculum, but it is on back order, so I have not received it yet. And that is um, Smart Farmer. It is supposed to be where all of the animals have gotten out of their pens and you have to put them back together and put the um, fences in the right spots so that the sheep are separate from the pigs, etc. Once again, this has not um, come yet. It is on back order along with the curriculum handbook, so I will not be showing you that either. Next up, we have the My First Spot the Difference. It is what you would imagine a Spot the Difference book. What's different? And so it starts off pretty easily. How many differences can you find between the robots, between the owls? And then it'll just keep getting progressively harder. And of course, the answer keys are in the back as always. And next is the Developing the Early Learner book series. These books claim that they are foundational skills for successful reading. They start off as simply as how do you get the rabbit to the carrot without touching any of the lines. This one's just a straight line, but this one you'd have to go down and up. So it starts off fairly simply, um, but it's all about vis visual perception. Can you find the ones that rhyme, nail, pale, jail, and tail, but looking at the words? Timber Doodle did make and include this parent guide um, for developing the early learner. Apparently, some of the puzzles were a little too difficult for the parents to figure out or know exactly what they were supposed to be doing. And so there is a parent guide that has all of the answers and what it should look like. For history and social studies, this is for the religious option. There is a non-religious option as well. Um, there actually isn't that much religion in here, but... The Beatty's History of Me, this is all about timelines using a ball of yarn. And it goes through how a timeline works um, and then starting to piece together your child's timeline. 
working through where were you born, what are your parents' names, and actually getting the concept of history. Here's a whole lesson on history. Um, understanding these are things that happened in the past. Um, there are true things, true events that happened in the past. It does go into more history, history of Thanksgiving, after it already lays the footwork of this is what history is. Um, and working out your family tree and things like that. It goes into other history um, throughout. And then we have the This Is How We Do It book. Um, this book I'm so excited about. It goes through different children throughout the world. Um, one from Russia, one from Italy, one from Uganda, Iran, India, Japan, Peru, and America. And it goes through different things um, and how each of the different places do it. So these are based on real children. There are pictures of the real children in the back. And this is how, this is like legitimately how they do things. And so these are their families. Um, okay, so here's what I eat for breakfast. In Iran, he eats this. In Peru, he eats this. And it explains what it is in little facts. Um, how do we travel in the different countries? Um, this is my teacher in the different countries. This is what school looks like in the different countries. And this is lunch. I absolutely love this idea. I want my children to kind of have a good grasp of different cultures um, around the world. And so this is a great start for a kindergartner in getting, um, and this is my night sky. Everybody has the same sky. <laughs> in getting um, acclimated into thinking about other cultures, which I just love. For geography, we have the Skills Sharpeners Geography Grade K. So this is going to start by talking about maps, what a map is. Like this is you looking at the living room, this is a map. It's what the living room looks like from above. And so it starts out with that and then goes into more things. Draw a map of your kitchen and look into things. Map symbols, looking at the world, what's a globe, continents and oceans. It also comes with us born around the world mazes. And so these are mazes from around the world. <laughs> but basically you're supposed to get all the way through this busy city Street, which I don't even know how to do, but it tells you up here where to start. And there is an answer key in the back. But once again, this is to get your child kind of using their brain and thinking. While also talking about different parts of the world. And last but not least is geo puzzles. These are giant puzzles. One of the world, one of US and Canada, one of Europe. One of Africa, Asia, and Latin America. They're big, thick pieces that are easy for your child to be able to grasp. Here is Kenya. And so you would find that on here, um, on here, and figure out where it goes and put together all of Africa. I love the idea of using this along with cultural studies, along with this is how we do it, and things like that, so that your child can get um, a pretty good starter base in what the world looks like. The next subject is emotional intelligence, working through emotions. We have the what's going on here conversational cards. These cards are designed to help you start a conversation with your kid about emotions. So it'll start off with, it has many cards, and it'll start off with a card, and then you see what's happening in the picture there. Um, this little piggy wants gumballs and is throwing a fit. The mom looks dismayed. The people in the background are like, what's wrong with that kid? And so you flip it over and then you have your questions. What's going on here? Why is the piglet crying? What is the pig saying? What will the pig do? What are the shoppers thinking? And so it works through these different scenarios and getting your kid to think about what is really happening in them. How are people feeling? Is that a good way to act or a bad way to act? How maybe could we help them? And the other is this happy, sad, feeling, glad, draw and discover book. 
It is a doodle book, which you will find quite a few of those in this um, curriculum this year. But they say that doodling is really great for developing the brain. And so this one in Happy, Sad, Feeling, Glad is all about doodling and about emotions. And so sad. The donkey is sad because his ice cream has fallen on the floor. Draw a donkey a new ice cream that will make him happy again. It's getting your kid to think creatively. How can you fill this jar with candy? Um, he's guilty because he ate it all and dog didn't get any. He's cranky because of this. And having your child fix the situation by drawing really allows them to get creative um, and really think about what they want to put in there. And it goes through a lot of the different emotions, which is great for this age range. Next we have math. The main curriculum for this is Matthew C. Now what's great about the Matthew C curriculum is that it comes with each of these blocks. Here's one, here's two. They're color coded, which is supposed to be able to help your child pick up um, quickly. It comes with lots and lots of pieces and they can stack on top of each other so when you're counting you can see them combined um, and they do all fit on top of each other. Um, this is the teacher handbook, the instruction manual. This is for you to be able to go through and do the lessons with your child. It tells you everything to do. Um, but there is also the DVD. And so you can, if you want to, have your child watch the lesson with someone else teaching it and then kind of do this more independently and you can just be there to help facilitate. But if you did want to do the lessons yourself, there is the instruction manual here, which goes into everything. What's really good about math, you see, is that it is a mastery based. And so that means that it really works through whatever it is for the entire year to make sure your child knows it forward and backwards. So this year for kindergarten, this Matthew C. Primer is counting. And your child will know, will deeply, deeply, deeply know how to count by the end of this. It does go into some different things like visual discrimination and, and things like that. Even a little bit of geometry, it goes into a little bit of fractions at the very end, teaches you tallies. Um, by the very, very end, even a little bit of time, actually a lot of time. <laughs> by the very end, it does go into some simple addition and even uh, some simple subtraction. The other thing in math is Bugzel. Um, this does say three years old and older, um, and my three-year-old has already opened this and started playing with it and enjoyed it. But what's good about it for the older ages is it can teach fractions. And so my daughter doesn't really understand that part. I don't think she's getting that. She's just doing the puzzles. But um, an older child would be able to understand the fractions. And so what it is is this bug and then all the pieces make up his belly. You have these big pieces here, and then you have smaller pieces here. And so each piece is double-sided with a different color on the back, so, or on the back. <laughs> so you can flip all of these around and have different colors, and there's more in the box. So you have green, orange, pink, and blue. And you have all of these cards, there's lots of them, but basically you will get a card, and then you will need to figure out, well, your child will need to figure out how to do that. And so basically using fractions, using their thinking skills, they need to be able to figure out how to make this happen. On the back is the answer on how they were supposed to do it. But that is Bugzel. Next, I will just quickly show you the learning tools that it comes with. It does come with this pencil case. These pencils have the edges that are supposed to make it easier for your child to grasp. They are shorter for little hands, um, so they don't have to worry about this huge pencil and trying to balance it. It's for a little hand. And the uh, tip <laughs> is very thick, and so they won't break as easily. And then pretty much the same thing in colored pencils, except that these are the triangular shapes. 
And then because of all of that, of course, we need a pencil sharpener that can accommodate these style of pencils. So that's what this is. This Mad Matter is also considered a learning tool. Um, it's kind of similar to a Play-Doh, except for it's reusable and supposedly never dries out. And it's supposed to mold and shape easily, um, but get into that really like airy consistency texture. Um, and then this is a brick maker. It's a little thing so that you can actually make bricks out of the dough. Next, we have science. This is the big science kit. Boom, fun with science. Um, but let's look inside. So inside are all of these different things. <laughs> so here are the little jelly beads that you put in water and they grow. And then it comes with the curriculum book here which basically walks you through each experiment. There are tons and tons and tons of experiments in here. And it walks you through um, how exactly to do each and every one and what they're supposed to learn from it. So in each of the experiments, there's the explanation. So the polymers started out small and now they are increased inside. What happened? Some polymers, like these beads, are great at absorbing water and it goes on. Um, and so it actually like explains and goes into some of these sciencey things, which honestly, I don't even think I know anymore. So I'm excited to relearn them um, with my five-year-old. We have the Usborn Look Inside Your Body. This is the Look Inside series from Usborn, um, and it goes through, well, all about your body. It has the look inside aspects. It talks about exercising, um, sounds, hearing, here it talks about how poop is made. Um, here it goes into the whole respiratory system and pretty much everything and anything you would want to know about your body. Once again, I'll probably be relearning <laughs> with the, these things. And lastly, the building blocks of science. Chemistry, <laughs> the stuff that we can see, taste, touch, smell, and hear. So it has activities to keep your child engaged, um, going into bacteria and things like that, into physics. But just a very, very simple look at physics, a very simple look at chemistry, um, simple look at the earth. In little, basically little tiny digestible facts. And that is all for science. For STEM um, that we have the Think Play Gears and Chains. I like that it came in this big um, container. Some of the stuff that they've sent me in the past was just in a box and then I had to find a container for it. So it's nice that it comes with this container. It comes with all of these blocks, gears. Um, these blocks are the ones that have the little ridges and so you can slide them into each other and they will not come apart unless you slide them apart. And do they click on top of each other? They can click on top of each other too. It's got all of these um, little things to help you turn. And here in the gears as well, turning. Lots of bolts and little things. And then here is the guidebook. This is going to walk you through what you should be doing. Different ideas of things to build. Um, also in the Timber Doodle curriculum handbook, which is on back order, so I did not receive yet. I believe it tells you when exactly to do these activities and some different ideas as well. So like here's make a girl that's holding what looks like flowers and then um, how to make her to where it all turns in her hand. And so that is what we have for STEM this year. And next we have art. This is um, Bugs Scratching Designs. And so um, it will come with these cards like this and a just wooden pencil um, that doesn't have any lead, it, it's just wood. And then you can scratch away this top blue and there's designs underneath. And so they can make all of these different um, designs and things based on what they scratch off will be all different designs. There is the Aquarellum. Um, it is water paints, <laughs> but with this canvas, 
if this will also work on combining um, different primary colors and what colors those will make. It even has a guide inside that shows you put one drop of red with two drops of blue and that will make this color. So your kid can choose exactly um, what colors they want to make this. And then we have this modeling dough kit by Dejeco. It comes with plastic pieces that make designs. Um, so that's why these fish here have that design in it because it was pushed into these plastic pieces here that have all sorts of different designs and it has the different color dough inside. It also comes with these different um, pages so your kid should fill in the clouds, um, fill in part of the kite, fill in the trees and things like that. And then we have two more doodle books working on different things. This one, I Can Doodle Rhymes, working on rhymes. This one, Push, Pull, Empty, Full. This one is working on opposites a lot of opposites. So small, big. Can you draw him the big shoes? Because the bear wears big shoes. The rabbit is pushing a cart. Fill up the cart with shopping. So it gives cues of what your child should draw, but they're allowed to use their imagination to really draw whatever they want while also working on these different words off and on. Um, yeah, this one is rhymes, hat and pat. Draw a hat for pat. Draw a mug and a rug for a bug. Can you draw a van for a man? And that is all for art. Thank you so much for watching. For those of you that are familiar with my channel, you may be wondering why I have a kindergarten curriculum um, when I will be going into pre-kindergarten with my oldest kid this upcoming fall. And the reason for that is that we are going back to Southeast Asia this fall. And so I needed to get pre-K, kindergarten, and first grade because we won't have resources um, in the area that we're going. So if you are not subscribed, so make sure you subscribe so that you can see the first grade one and what we gathered for pre-K this year. And I hope you enjoy. Until next time, bye.